we are here today with Johannes Borgat from Copenhagen University and soon to be in Duff University and uh, we want to talk about some quantum, in particular quantum technology and how sometimes quantum technologies and quantum computers always collapse in the same time. But quantum technologies is not only quantum computers, right? We have also quantum communication and quantum sensing and metrology. That's right, yeah, and uh, especially quantum communication is something that's very close to my heart. So um, most people are familiar with, well, not most people, but I would say within the field, in quantum communication, most people think about quantum key distribution, which is one of the kind of main things that people are concerned with. Uh, and in quantum key distribution, the overall goal is basically that you want to share a secret key between two parties in a way that no one can really tap in and extract your secrets. Yeah. And, and that's actually the power, because when... In, with this protocol, there is a proof of security, so there is math behind it, and it's not only assumption. That's right. Actually, the math is, is pretty old. So, so yeah. the, it relies on something called the one-time pad, which has been known for many years. The hard thing is how to distribute a one-time pad, basically. So you need a bit string, which is completely random, to be shared between two parties, and they can use that to encode something. And where quantum helps is basically how to distribute that bit string. Uh, and by sending quantum information in form of something called qubits, you can basically, by measuring on your quantum systems, you can verify that they're correlated in a certain way, so that you can make sure that no one tapped into your transmission and tried to extract information. So in that way, you have kind of a provable, secure way to distribute your key. And, and basically now we are going from, from this, this big boxes that already exist to very small chip in order to make it more scalable, but there is also something more interesting like quantum networks and... That's right, I mean, so, so quantum key distribution, it's of course very interesting in itself because we rely on, on you know, uh, security in today's society, but uh, when you have the technology in place, when you have these kind of transmission of quantum information, you can do much more actually. 